Well, guys, we're going to take a look at the Tacticam FTS today. And as a YouTube creator, I have personally been on the lookout for a scope camera that's going to be able to record that first person perspective that you guys like to see while I'm out there uh, providing reviews for you, while also being a simple solution for the left handed shooter while not breaking the bank. So first and foremost, I've tried several of those scope cameras that utilize your cell phone and they work great. However, as a left-handed shooter, they kind of were awkward for me to use. And I also needed the opportunity to use my cell phone for different things like chronograph work, video work, and just other tasks while I'm down at the range. So for me, I really needed that all-in-one package that the Tacticam FTS provides. And I'll take a look at some other uh, scope cams in the future, I'm sure but this is the one that I found that works best for me. We're going to take a look at some of my favorite features of the Tacticam FTS and also provide for you six tips or tricks that I've learned while using and learning about the Tacticam that's going to really help you get the best footage out of your setup when you first take it to the range. Guys, it, first and foremost, this all-in-one package comes in at a very reasonable price when you compare it to all the other packages that come with a separate camera. And oftentimes they cost well over $1,000 and need a separate action camera like a GoPro. Now this one really comes in about half that price. Uh, you might be asking yourself, what does FTS stand for? Well, the FTS portion stands for film through scope setup. And it's great for anyone that is left-handed, like I mentioned. Uh, I've had difficulty with other systems uh, especially those that require you to use your phone as a camera. And that's just as a left-handed shooter. Some of the nice things about this, this camera shoots in 4K, can handle slow motion, and just like a GoPro, it will film at 240 frames per second, which if you look at the statistics, it's very similar to a GoPro Hero 7. Also comes with an internal microphone, which is helpful when trying to sync videos up, especially if you're doing YouTube and you're trying to layer videos one on top of each other. So if you're a YouTuber and you're looking for that setup, this would be an excellent option. It does come with one battery, which is good. It comes in, the battery I should say lasts about two and a half hours. The only knock I have on the battery is the life in general. If you're gonna use Wi-Fi the entire time, um, it'll probably knock that battery life in about half. So if you're going to use Wi-Fi, an extra battery is also going to be necessary also, but they're not too expensive. It does come with scope mounts for a variety of scopes where other systems do not. If you look in front of me here, these are all the different scope mounts, plus there's one on here. Uh, that allows you to adjust to the size of the eyepiece on your scope, and it makes it rock solid. It's not going to move. You don't have to worry about knocking it off. So it's going to be able to be out used on the range, out in the woods, wherever you want to take it. As you may have heard me mention earlier, this is a Wi-Fi capable setup. So it allows you to access a lot of the different features and video modes using your cell phone. And you can turn the Wi-Fi on and off. So you're not using that uh, battery life up while you're in the middle of your hunt, shooting session, testing session, or whatever it is you're using your tactic cam to film. There's also an easily enough room for my side wheel here that you can see. It allows me to click if I'm using um, the turrets. It also allows me to easily adjust the magnification, which some other setups it just becomes kind of awkward with to do that. One of the cool features too is that it comes with a one touch record where you're just gonna push the top button here. And as soon as the camera turns on, it starts recording in an instant. Now you can adjust that so it requires two uh, taps of the button so you can turn it on and then start recording but it really allows you to have no fiddling with the menus or anything along those lines as soon as you put it in there it's ready to go to film groups competitions if you're in the middle of something or if you're on a hunt and that, that your quarry comes up in front of you immediately and you're like oh I gotta do something it really allows you some quick access to get things rolling quickly if you need to another nice thing about it is that you can take the camera out and mount it in different ways so you can mount it uh, this direction right on the scope or your gun. You can also mount it on a crossbow. And the camera itself is waterproof, which makes it great for outdoor guys like you and me who will be out in the elements. Before I discuss the tips and tricks that I promised you at the beginning of this video, if um, you've enjoyed this content and learned something, maybe you've decided that you want to pick up the Tacticam FTS, take a second and smash the subscribe button. You'll notice there's a little 
hint down there in the right hand corner of every video. Just push that for me and also smash the like button if you get the opportunity. That really means a lot to us creators. Guys, your first tip for using the Tacticam FTS, you're going to have to buy an SD card. doesn't come with one. All right, so it's a little bit more expensive, but you can get a really good 128 gigabyte card, but you're going to want to make sure it's an Ultra 3 SD card. And that's because the camera has to process the footage and so forth. And an Ultra 3 card is going to allow your camera to do that faster than any other SD card that is currently on the market. So if you're ordering this, you might as well order an SD card. You can find lots of good ones. Also, Amazon sells them, but there are also some knockoff SD cards that are out there that may say they're Ultra 3, but do not have the same capabilities. Make sure if you're buying on Amazon that you are buying one that is sold by Amazon to avoid any of that problem. So Ultra 3 SD card, 128 gigabytes. Make sure you get one that is legit. Number two, whenever you're not using your Tacticam, guys, you really, really want to pull that battery out just to connect it, disconnect it from the camera. This will prevent your battery from running down between uses. So why does the Tacticam battery run down? Well, it's because there is an infrared sensor on the camera that allows you to go ahead and have a remote control. If you have it on your hunting stand or set up someplace else, you won't have to get up and do anything. But being that that's an accessory, the camera is always looking for that. And so the camera is always using battery power. So a simple solution, just pull the battery out when not in use. Tip number three, you guys know when you buy a product like this, there's always going to be accessories, but which ones are worth your time? Well, I mentioned earlier, you're definitely going to want to pick up an extra battery. And then the second accessory that I really found useful was this. This is the charger. I picked this one up on Amazon myself to buy because I wanted to be able to charge both batteries at the same time, as well as use my camera and charge a battery because otherwise your battery is charged in the camera itself. So those two accessories are the best two accessories in my mind if you're going to use the Tacticam FTS. Tip number four is that when you guys are shooting, a lot of us like to zoom in on our target so we can be extremely accurate. Well, that's great, but if you're using a film through scope system like the Tacticam, you're going to want to use a smaller magnification especially in slow-mo. Why? Well, you should know that the field of view expands when you have a lower magnification and when you zoom in on things, your field of view goes in and you're not going to be able to see as anything. One of the things that is awesome about a camera like this is slow motion and watching things go boom when you are shooting at them. And that may include something like a sh shaking can of soda, an ice cube, or even those mega boom type targets. So if you do those things, you're going to want to reduce the magnification so you can really get in and see all of the action. All right, guys, tip number five. And this is one I had to email the company about because I didn't read the directions. But who reads directions anyway, right? Not this guy. At any rate, the reticle was not in focus for me. I kept playing with it, adjusting the distance here back and forth. And they said, that's not how you do it. There's an easy, easy way to do this. So before you set up your Tacticam or as you're setting up your Tacticam, you're going to want to do this. Let me take this off here so you can see. Use a four millimeter Allen wrench, just two little screws and unscrew them. Okay. You notice your Tacticam comes right off. That's how easy it is. And you're going to notice this is the FTS system itself. This is one of the adapters that are in there. So you can adapt it to the different size of scope. But you're going to want to take your eyepiece out about a quarter of an inch. Now, this may be different than where you have it set for your particular eye. But don't forget, we're not just setting the scope for our own eye, but also for the lens on the camera. So we have to find a happy medium. And this is where that Wi-Fi functionality of your Tacticam comes in great. You can go on to your phone, make sure everything's set up and everything's in focus and then really lock it down in there so it's not going to move and then you can turn the Wi-Fi off to save the battery. So little tip, quarter inch out and you should be good to go.
Tip number six. Tacticam has done a lot of the work for you. If you don't want to read instructions, go ahead over to tacticam.com. They got more how-to videos, they got examples of the, this being utilized in the field, as well as all the different accessories that are available for this product that might meet your specific need. Guys, first I want to thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, you gained something out of it, hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and until next time, may your trigger pull stay smooth and your pellets fly straight. And we're going to see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.